again as I approach this side. There, I'm just gonna let her lope. Carry it a few strides. Kind of want to take off a little bit, but that's all right. She feels as other horses. I want to just keep her at a trot here because I want to. I want her to come back a little softer than that, not in a worried state. So I just kept her going a little bit, make sure I could take that nose. I'm just going to wait, wait for it to soften, wait for her feet to slow down. There. Dre, where would you say a lot of people go wrong? Uh, when they're at this stage of the first ride outside of the round pen? I think trying to steer before you can get them to go anywhere. For me, I've already always found that it's real difficult to direct feet that aren't going anywhere, you know, if they get real flat footed. So, you know, that's why I'm not going to want to do too much more on this mare today because I don't want her, to, want her to get numb, you know, and then the more I could get her to kind of just have that forward propulsion the more I'm gonna be able to get her to start to steer and start to take her to the places I wanna go. Right now, I'm kinda of at her mercy, you know? I, I will kinda of let them bump in between my reins there, and you know, I'm not really trying to steer them as much as just keep them straight and keep going forward. I think uh, if they learn to stay in between your reins like that, then next thing you know, you just kinda of move that pressure over, and then before you know it, they're steering, and they don't even know that they learned it, you know? they just you kind of almost sneak the training in on them. You know, well, this mare, uh, we got a few more rides on her than uh, the bay mare, but uh, I want to take the opportunity to kind of show where, you know, I might have built on the bay mare's ride in the next, you know, two days. You know, so if that was her third or fourth ride, you know, days five, six, seven, eight, you know, and then, um, so hopefully this, this helps someone. But, you know, once I got to where I could kind of, uh, you know, now I got some, forward momentum I can guide them at any gate you know then I might come out here and uh, try to teach them to just stay stay on this fence on their own you know and so she might take off right here that's okay I'm just gonna steer her back you know so keep trying to put them back over here you know so she's gonna come off that fence so I'm gonna steer her back to it um, it might seem counter productive, you know, because, you know, later on we're going to say, well, we don't want him to lean on the fence. Well, we don't, but, you know, a horse doesn't know it's doing something wrong until we tell it it is. So um, right now I use that fence to kind of kill a bunch of birds with one stone, you know. So I'm able to kind of teach her. Oh. How many rides, Trav, did you say this horse has had? Oh, maybe 10 or 12. You know, we just spent a lot of time going. She's actually been out of the arena. Um, she's gone on trail rides and stuff. Um, so she's obviously got a lot more riding than that other mare. But, uh, you know, that's, that's what I'm gonna build to on all of them. It's not gonna be that easy on all of them. Some of them are really gonna wanna dive in, but uh, what it does for me is gives me a job within the arena to teach them something, you know, and to, to not just be like, well, I got to teach them this because they have to do it. Well, no, I'm like, well, I'm going to see if I could get them to stay over here. And by teaching them that mentality to take responsibility for, for this stuff is, uh, is what I think it's all about, you know, like from an early age, I'm trying to teach them to think and be a part of the process. And that helps me later on when I start working cattle or the flag or, or whatever I'm doing. If I were doing the cow horse, I'd do it the exact same way because, you know, on your rundowns, you want them to run straight and run to that stop, you know, so I don't want them leaning. I don't want to have to hold them there. And I know those guys don't either. So I'm just trying to teach them some of that stuff right now. And I think I could start right away, you know. And is this an exercise you got from Don Murphy, did you say? Yeah, uh, Don, you know, when I went to work for Don, um, I had started a few colts, but I had the luxury of being able to, we'd open the round pen and go ride up in the mountains. And, you know, it's a, that's an amazing way to be able to start horses. They learn so much in that situation. But I had no idea about riding, in, you know, in an arena. Um, so. Uh, when I went to Don's, I mean, everything was new to me, and that was one of the first drills he taught me was to just, 